After more than a year of intense scrutiny, the department in charge of WA's youth justice system has been unable to answer some key questions in front of a parliamentary committee. We do have records of out-of-cell hours, but a lot of the time we can't actually hand on heart say they were 100% accurate. So was it tracked? Yes, it was. Was it tracked accurately? Clearly our systems weren't up to scratch compared with the level of scrutiny now required on out-of-cell hours. Under the law, prison guards can sometimes keep detainees locked in their cells for extended periods, but those powers are limited. There are at least two lawsuits afoot, including a class action with more than 500 former detainees alleging instances of unlawful confinement. The department says it realised the issue with its records in part because of litigation. It's incredibly onerous because the Young Offenders Act was put in place 30 years ago and until the last couple of years wasn't, it wasn't contemplated or wasn't tested in a way that required the extreme level of reporting that's now um, seen as required. When asked by the ABC, the department wouldn't say how long it hadn't accurately been recording information for, but Minister Bill Johnston says he first found out in late 2021. The department insists that any errors it's identified only show detainees spending more time outside of their cells than was recorded in the system. This will have some impact on on the lawsuits that you're having and, and the state's ability to defend itself, wouldn't it? Well, as you would know, any matter before the court is a matter before the court. I won't be commenting on that either. And while the department says it's fixing the issues... We've done a huge amount of work to try and um, ensure we are, one, uh, confining young people lawfully and appropriately, and we're also recording that effectively and appropriately. An answer given to Parliament yesterday showed it was still affecting data as recently as August last year. Kean Burke, ABC News.